Tessa Violet is my crush. Ha! That's a reference to one of her most popular songs. Her image is of a cute girl who is like your dream girlfriend. Or maybe that is just my male perspective. But beyond her image, the music that she creates is spectacular. I love it. It feels like a very, a bit of from pop with dance beats, and then the heavy blues is mixed in there, and simple acoustic guitar and singing. You can see her career evolve from just a YouTuber to an artist with a label and big productions. The screenshot where I grabbed this reference photo is from her song, Wishful Drinking. My first impression that that was produced by Jack White. Then my second thought was that how my friend Eli Larson of the band The Racket would just love this video and the song to pieces. Some other song of hers that I love the most is I Like the Idea of You. The music video is so hot. The music is just perfect. Well, to me. Another one I like is Games. The chorus she wrote is so strong and catchy. I wish I could just see me singing a rendition of it then that is a good sign that the music is something special. The last two songs that I'd like to mention are covers. She did a cover of my cousin Katy Perry's hit Teenage Dream. The fellow female YouTube artist Dottie as well. Don't tell Katy, but I like Tess's cover much more than the original. And the last song to finish up my top 5 Tessa Violet songs is her Disney cover of Jungle Book song, I Want to Be Like You. In it, she plays a ukulele and performs in a monkey onesie with a couple other musicians. Not know too much about the song, besides how hard it bonks, it is that it was part of a YouTube collaboration of Disney animation music covers. I never really heard any others, but I'm happy to have jammed and vibed to Tessa's cover since I found it. Boom, boom, she's Tessa Violet, the love plane, she's the pilot. Well, I left behind the flight attendant, yeah. I'll be fine, I'm on antidepressants. I watch Tessa Vi videos so I don't feel so alone. It's not always about the physical bone. Her voice, when it reaches my ears, make me float off the ground. It's not so typical, though it is on the sound. Would I ask as a violet to go to the prom? No, she would ask me first so she could hold me down. The feelings mutual, we could not keep calm. But time goes on and drift apart with tears of a clown. Boom, boom, she's Tessa Violet. The love plane, she's the pilot. Well, I'm left behind the flight attendant. I'll be fine, I'm on antidepressants. I'm GP Dozen, I'm painting you. When you break up, I'm next in queue. If only love would work like that for me. Picking me first is better, wouldn't you agree? So I have to ask as this song goes on. I got a PayPal tip jar, save my stuff from the pawn. The artist struggle well, it sucked time to go long. But I'm content with help from hits from my bone. Chug along. Boom! Boom! She's <coughs> the violin! The love playing room, <laughs> she's the violin! Well, I'm left behind, she's the flight attendant. <coughs> I'll be fine, I'm not a time <coughs> I'm GP Does, and for a while, I've been very happy, and I like it. A part of this art project, the faces I'm practicing, is making me more competent artist. But saying that, too, I feel as though that these last couple of portraits are undone. 
like I stopped before I needed to to get the show done in a timely fashion. And part laziness. I don't want to wait around for hours of video to render as I spend hours painting a Mastro segment. But all of them are. I feel this wave of creativity, but also it may just be part of my work ethic. When you boil down the two hours or more I put into each segment of the show every day, it isn't all that much work when you compare it to a 40 hour work week. But I would tell you about the time I put into listening music or watching YouTube videos and generally just having a good time is part of my creative process. In these times my mind often wanders and I have some of the greatest ideas. And the time I put into the video where it's me singing or rapping with the lyrics I pumped out for the specific video. And you'll have to just stay tuned to see how the art will manifest from my heart in uncontrollable, unmonetizable ways. I hope it will exceed expectations to the point where it will inspire people to share the video with one another, be it private message or publicly on their profiles. I don't know how to be a YouTube artist, and beyond that, I don't know how to be an artist. I am betting on my lack of formal art schooling to be my strongest asset. I would know how learning how to create like others could benefit me, but really it would only benefit the other artists that have that style. I am going to grow beyond any artist. After I saw a selection of Picasso art from the 90s, it made me feel like there is no limit when it comes to my own art. Like, I can't believe an art with just my words right now. Check this out. This poem I haven't even written yet. GP does is an artist. He begs for love and admiration. But with himself, he sees the light. Happier than the office's Dwight. See, that poem is worth $2,000. And I just let you hear it for free. What a generous god. In fact... That's what the G in GP stands for. And if you could guess what the P stands for, comment your guess, best guess, I will let know, and I will ask of you to send me a selfie through email. I want to take a moment to talk about drugs. I am on two medications daily due to depression and more uh, to deal with anxiety. I also smoke weed daily to the point where if I could afford it, I would comfortably smoke an eighth a day, and that would potentially climb higher. I have an idea for a video, but I need a sponsor. The premise is I smoke an entire ounce in one day. I'd want to get the top tier stuff too. I'd probably go with an indica to make it more challenging. It will be an expensive shoot as I'd need an ounce of weed to waste. The money to buy junk food too, for you know, to eat and also comedy. I'd also need a chauffeur to promote safe driving and cannabis use. I wouldn't want to risk driving for two reasons. First, the safety of others and be my own safety. Why risk anything? My own driving career for what, a junior bacon cheeseburger? Sorry for cutting this install. In short, but I just heard the pop pop. I think it was the to toaster. Or at least it smells like it. My roommate's mother left the, the to toaster go for so, so long, long. Boom, boom. She said that the violate that the, the love pain. She's the little pilot. Well, I'm left up behind the flight attendant. I will be behind my mom on the 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 well, I left behind the flight attendant, yeah. 
I'll be fine. I'm on antidepressants. <laughs>